The Bank of Korea released growth figures for the domestic economy in the third quarter, and the overall GDP figure is on par with the bank's earlier estimate in October. Our Kim Hye-sung has more. South Korea's economy grew 0.4 percent on quarter in the July to September period. That's the same as the Bank of Korea's preliminary estimate announced in October and lower than the 1 percent growth tallied in the second quarter. The central bank said construction investment was revised down while consumption and exports were revised up. Construction investment contracted 6 percent due to a slump in building construction. Private consumption edged up 0.2 percent on higher spending on durable goods. Government spending increased 1.4 percent on health care-related expenditures. Exports jumped over 4 percent on quarter thanks to increases in semiconductor and auto shipments. GDP deflator, which measures the change in price for all goods and services, dropped 1.6 percent on year, falling for the fourth consecutive quarters and marking its biggest fall in two decades. The Bank of Korea attributed the sharp fall to lower consumer demand and export prices, which slumped nearly 7 percent due to tumbling chip and petrochemical goods prices. We are seeing low inflation as the economy loses vitality and consumer demand remains sluggish. If GDP deflator is low, people's nominal income will drop. Nominal GDP grew just 0.4 percent on year in the third quarter, meaning people's income will go down. Continuously low inflation could lead to a contracting economy. Real gross national income rose 0.6 percent on quarter. The BOK says to reach its growth target of 2 percent for this year, the local economy has to expand by more than 0.93 percent in the last quarter. Kim Hye-sung, Arirang News.